Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Adam and Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Fascinations has released a few more models to the public. The Wild West models that we've talked about off and on for a little while now are now available, or at least four of them are. We have the Wild West 260 locomotive. We have the Wild West stagecoach. We have the Wild West Gatlin gun and the Wild West Revolver are now available for sale. I've seen them on End of the Toys. I'm sure they'll be, if not already, showing up on places on Amazon and maybe your local, local craft store, if your craft store carries these models, but they are now being sent out for the public for purchase. I did notice, however, that the 440 locomotive did not make the move from coming soon to now available. It also showed up as coming soon a little bit later than the other four, so I don't know, I guess the delay isn't completely unexpected, but interesting that they didn't move over together. Now last Friday, somewhere between recording the 3D Metal Model News video and uploading it, Peace Cool did announce on their website two new models that I didn't get a chance to see and record. I did put it in the description in that video, but I don't think a lot of people checked the description, so I will definitely mention them here. Peace Cool on their website has released a Wenshang Tower, or at least they're going to be releasing a Wenjiang Tower, and also a Fuso or Fusang Battleship, another wonderful looking battleship. I've just recently completed the Yamato. I've built the Missouri. I've really enjoyed building those models. I don't know if this model is eventually going to make it to Metal Earth, but it is going to be available through Peace School, and I'm kind of looking forward to getting to that someday. Now both of these models are listed as coming out this month. I haven't seen them for sale anywhere yet, but it probably won't be very long. And I also mentioned a couple of models last week, a couple of Micro World models, the Laibu Li Li Warrior and the Dark Stones model. They were only available through one AliExpress store. I'm now seeing them on crazytoys.co.uk as well as several other AliExpress stores this week. So that is a little more readily available to purchase this week. And I will put some links in the description down below to to the Crazy Toys website as well. And speaking of AliExpress, I did look around. I didn't see any other new models on any of the stores that I follow. So there's nothing really new to talk about as far as models is concerned. But I will say that it looks like AliExpress is having a mid-year sale. And not every store is participating, but a few of the model stores that I follow are participating. It looks like the New York model store is having a mid-year sale, the Funny Models store, and the Magical Model store. I honestly can't remember if it was the Magical Models or the New York Model Store. I've dealt with them before. I did order a model through them and got it in a decent amount of time with no problems. The Funny Model Store I don't think I've dealt with, but I don't know anything negative to say about them. But those three stores are taking part in the mid-year sale, so there are some discounts to be had. We'll leave a, a link in the description down below for you to check them out if you're looking to get some Peace Cool or Micro World or some of the other interesting models other than Metal Earth, at a little bit of a discount. Now is the time that sale is running until the 28th, so you only have two or three days left to take advantage of those sales. In last week's video, I posed another question of the week, and that question was, what are some strange or unusual things you've used to build and shape your models? And I got a few interesting responses from Shane... Stribly, when I built the Game of Thrones castle, I used a set of Allen keys to form up the towers. They worked well. I could see that Allen keys would certainly help with doing a lot of towers. I could see that being useful on some of the Disney princess towers, or uh, Snow White and the um, Cinderella castle. I could see Allen keys being useful since they're not perfectly round and they do have some sides to them. But even if it's a round object, Allen keys might still work if you don't press too tightly. James Bickert, another great video. Brad, I've used tall, skinny shot glasses, prescription pill bottles, screwdriver shafts, drill bits, Advil bottles, etc. Not etc, etc. Anything that was close to the cylinder shape needed. That is a great question. And I certainly have used screwdrivers, drill bits. I do use drill bits a lot. I have used prescription bottles. They've been very helpful. I've used small flashlights, flashlight batteries, D and C batteries. Yeah, there's, there's, I've used sockets. There's been a lot of different things I've used to make round shapes and different sizes, whatever was needed. 
I think I mentioned last week I used a can of refried beans one time because it was the large Mega R2D2 model. And I, I think I forgot to mention I had used a styrofoam ball at one point, or the large styrofoam ball that was intended to make Pokemon balls with my kid. Walter J. Schuler, I used a golf ball to shape BB-8 and the Death Star. Decent choice, golf ball or ping pong ball, although ping pong, ping pong ball might be more susceptible to collapse. Garth Tube, the strangest and still very helpful tool is the radiator car aerial as it's round with lots of sizes and collapses down. And that makes sense. If you don't know what an aerial is, that's basically an antenna. You've got a collapsible antenna and I've had some radios where it's you know, this long, you stretch it out and there's several different sections. I never would have thought of that. That is a really interesting idea. Uh, you don't really see that as much with radios these days, although you could probably find a cheap radio in a thrift store and break off the antenna and use it. I wouldn't press too hard though, because it might collapse, but yeah, that would that's almost like a um, longer step mandrel, and the advantage of a step mandrel is the sections are longer, so you could do longer pieces. I might have to try that someday. Richard Kroll, the strangest object I use to shape a part is the handle end of a toothbrush. I found that it was just the right form to shape a curved, somewhat conical part. I have used plastic prescription bottles to form round parts. I kept several of them with different circumferences for that purpose. You know, speaking of somebody who's taken a lot of different medicines for a lot of different reasons, I see I'm not alone. Prescription bottles can be handy for so many things. They can also be handy for storing small parts. If you have extras or if you're afraid of losing them as I am clumsy and sometimes knock things over, I've also used them when I was doing model plastic model work as toothbrush holders. I actually took a small amount of cement, got it wet, put it in the bottom of a prescription bottle to keep it weighted down and would pack that along with another empty bottle and cap in a backpack when I worked at a call center. And this was long ago, I doubt you could do this these days, but I worked at a call center that allowed you to bring in some things to keep you busy between calls. And I would actually build model cars and I used their prescription bottles one with the cement to put the brushes in, the other I would go to the break room, put a little water, and I would use acrylic paints, rinse the brush out, dab it on a paper towel, and actually sit there and acrylic paint some of the details of my model while I was on break. Those were the days. Thank you for everyone for sharing some of your interesting tools that you've used. Whatever works, honestly, look around the house and grab pins and needles or, or, or toothbrushes or pill bottles or whatever you need sometimes to make the shape that you need to make. This week's question of the week, I've chosen to go with something that I've kind of discussed before, but I think it, it bears rediscussing, and that is where to get models. I still occasionally get the question of where did you get that model? Where can I get models? Where can I get this particular model? And over time, I've noticed that shops kind of come and go. There's some shops that have been around for quite a while. You've got places like Amazon and eBay where you can find various Metal Earth models, sometimes Peace Cool models, sometimes other models on a fairly regular basis, but you've got stores that, spec that, that are more specific in what they sell, and I've seen some come and go. Unfortunately, one of the ones that's kind of come and gone, and I'm hoping one day will come back is your Toy Mart. I really enjoy dealing with them, but they aren't currently open. Uh, there was an illness in the family, and I'm hoping things are on the mend, and maybe one day they'll come back to us because they were a really awesome store to get Metal Earth models, at least here in the U.S. However, where can you get models now? As I've already mentioned, eBay and Amazon are decent places. You can look around online and sometimes find places to buy models. Do be careful on places like eBay. There are a lot of copycats or knockoff, whatever term you want to use, where they're copies of the Metal Earth models. They may or may not be of decent quality. There is one place that's always been around and that's Innova Toys. I have dealt with Innova Toys before. I don't, you know, I've had decent service with them, decent shipping times. That is one good place to get all of Metal Earth models in the U.S. As far as internationally, getting Metal Earth models outside of the U.S. can be a bit difficult. I have heard in Australia of a couple of different shops and I will put links to them down in the description below. There's a couple of shops I've heard of that I haven't dealt with personally, so I can't particularly vouch for them, but we've got Metal Mania 3D and Metal Earth Australia are two different places in Australia that, from what I understand, stock Metal Earth models, and you can get models from them, which would save you on the enormous shipping prices of having it shipped from the US. 
you've got in Canada, you've got Tri-M Specialty products, and they do get Metal Earth models as well as Peace Cool models and a few other things. So that's a good source if you're in North America or if you're in Canada to get Metal Earth and other type models rather than waiting for something to come from AliExpress. There's also Crazy Toys. Crazy Toys is a good place. They don't have Metal Earth models, but they have Peace Cool and Micro World and Picture Kingdom models. Now they have a UK site. They also have an AliExpress store and they also have an eBay store. I'll put their, I believe they have a US site as well. So I will put the link to their UK site, crazytoys.co.uk or their US site, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're a good place to get a lot of Peace Cool, Micro World, and MU models. And then you've got AliExpress, which I've mentioned before, and I, I frequent a lot of stores on there to see what's going on with things other than Metal Earth. You, you, you can get a lot of copycat models, Metal Earth copycat models, off of AliExpress, but again, the quality is going to seriously vary. I typically don't recommend getting copycat or, or uh, knockoff models through AliExpress, but you can get Peace Cool, MU, Micro World, and other interesting models there that are decent and good quality through AliExpress, but you're gonna deal with a bit of a wait time in shipping. Other than that, you can check your local craft stores and see if any of your local craft stores have them. Hobby Lobby has been known to carry Metal Earth models. AC Moore has been known to carry. I first started this channel, I got most of my models through AC Moore, though they have seriously toned down their selection and don't have anywhere near what they used to have. And Barnes & Noble occasionally has models here and there. Little box sets, they're a little more pricey. A lot of times you can get things combined where it's more than one model in a box, but that's another source to get Metal Earth models. And that's it for the 3D Metal Model news for this week. There are some other rumors going around, but nothing solid enough for me to really comment on at this time. As far as build videos are concerned and, and the personal situation and the move, don't have any build videos coming up right now. We've got, we're more or less settling into the new house. We've got almost everything out of the old one, but there's still some small details to attend to. There's still the cleaning to attend to. And a lot of focus is going into that right now because that's a responsibility I really need to get taken care of before I can move forward with other things. So things are on hold for that. I, my new place, you know, I need to get the studio set up in the basement so I can go back to building videos and making or building models and making videos. There's some issues with getting the basement set up. There's a lack of outlets and there's still a lot of moving going on. So right now I don't have a tentative date or time when things will be back in order, but I am working towards that direction and will do my best to keep you informed. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more information as it comes available. With me not being able to build any models, I have a little bit more focus on bringing the news to you. So if anything pops up, there may be something coming during the week if it's important enough, but I'll at least try to maintain the weekly Friday schedule until I get my studio back together. As always, thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.